subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time we upload. Yay! I'm Brittany with Homestar Financial. I'm a local lender here in Florida and I'm Chelsea. I'm a local realtor at Magnolia Homestead Realty. Definitely want to talk about what it means to be a first-time home buyer. A lot of people think that you can never own a home before. That is not true as long as you've not owned a home within the last three years then you are still considered a first time home buyer. That's awesome. Yes. So one of the things people do not know is that it's a lot easier to qualify for down payment assistance than what you would think or what you've maybe heard. Some of the things that you need to qualify, number one is a 640 credit score. A lot of people think, oh my gosh, like we need a 700 credit score to get a mortgage. That is not true. 640 and up and you will qualify for down payment assistance. You do have some debt to income ratio restrictions and it does, the home does have to, you know, qualify when it comes to inspections and of course where it's located and how much the home is. And those are things that you would talk about with your lender, me. But it's an awesome program. So one of the things that people do not realize about down payment assistance is that it's a lot easier to qualify for than what you would think. It is. How easy is it, Brittany? One of the things that you do need to qualify is minimum credit score of a 640. Okay. Yeah. There are debt to income ratio qualifications. All right. What exactly does that mean when you say debt to income ratio qualifications? Sounds a little fancy. Yeah. So debt to income is basically your monthly debts that are on your credit report or child support, and that's so one that people car do payment, not. payment, insurance, mm -hmm. things like that. Car payment, cell phone, bill. cell phone bill, if it's on your credit. If it's not on your credit, we don't have to count it against you. Right, so like so, electric bill, things like that. No, not even your electric bill, actually. Okay. Yeah, so credit cards, minimum credit card payments, auto loans, any type of installment loans, any additional debt that would report on your credit report, that is considered your monthly debt. You will then compare that to your monthly income and you must be within a certain amount. You can't, can't use all of your income to have paid debt and have a mortgage. Yeah. They want you to safely be, you know, below that 45 to 50% range. They want to know you're going to be able to make that payment with the amount of money you make each month. That makes a lot of sense. Correct. Plus all the other bills that go along with owning a home. They want to know that you can not only afford your mortgage, but you can also afford to fix or take care of any things that you know may go wrong or that you may need. Another qualification to be able to get approved for the down payment assistance program is you have to take the first time home buyer class. Yes. You'll take it online, super easy, and you'll get a certificate and just send it over to me when you're done with it. We'll add it to your file and then they'll know that you did take that learning. How long does the class take? A few hours. It's a few hours. It's online. It's at your own pace. Nice. Okay. So you don't have to do it all right then. You can do it however you want to. Right. Nice. You must work with an approved lender. So you will find that person on their Florida Housing website. If you are using me, you would have to find a lender that's qualified to do down payment assistance. You should use me though. Yeah. <laughs> there are two different types of down payment assistance in Florida. Mm -hmm. One is called Florida Housing Down Payment Assistance. One is called Hometown Heroes. Okay. And with those down payment assistance programs, I hear there are stipulations, like you can't sell the house or you have to repay that money back or you can't refund, like what are those? So what happens is basically the down payment assistance, it's gonna be anywhere between 10,000 up to 25,000. And it's basically like a second little mortgage on your first mortgage. It's kind of piggybacks on there. You never have to pay it back unless you sell or refinance the home. Okay. So six years down the road, you decide you want to upgrade and move. The proceeds that you receive from the sale of your home will, will take 10000 of that to pay off that second mortgage that they gave you to begin with. That's 
it's not bad. I mean, it helps you when you need it to be able to get into that first home. Correct. So. And you're building equity. You yeah. wouldn't have otherwise had that right. equity. Okay. Yeah. So for hometown heroes, what kind of jobs is that? I heard there's a lot, like pages there's and pages. A of, lot. Yeah. There's a lot. It was so exciting when that came out because, you know, you look at, you know, VA loans or other specific assistance programs and it's like cops or, you know, doctors or things like that. The hometown heroes covers so many occupations. I will name a few, but you can always reach out to me and I can send you the full list. Dental assistants, CNAs, teacher, firefighter, Correct. EMT. You don't just have to be a police officer or, you know, things like that. There's, yes. It's a really long range. I even heard in a training recently that some sort of form of personal trainer can be on that. As long as you have a certification yes. in what you do, either a certificate or a license in what you do. It also doesn't matter how long you've been certified. You could have got certified yesterday. Yes. As long as you have that certification, you're good to go. And the great thing about that program is that it goes up to $25,000 in assistance. It doesn't okay. stop at 10. So is it a percentage of the home? 5% of the loan amount. Okay, that's yes. awesome. Florida Assist Program and the Hometown Heroes Program, so both of those down payment assistance programs can also be paired with all home loans, USDA, VA, FHA, and conventional. Yes. So just because you don't think you're going to have one of those loans, you're covered. Yes, it's really great. All right, and that's all we got about down payment assistance for today. We hope that you loved this video. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you back here next Friday for another video. Yay, see you then. Bye. Bye.